Hello everyone. I hope the lighting is sufficient and you can see pretty well. I'm pretty excited because I next day aired my uh, parts from Riff Raff Diesel. But these are the parts. Let's check it out. So I ordered a Hydra in, and sorry for my nails, I was working on the truck. A Hydra in dash billet flush mount. Of course, the Hydra chip. Originally, I ordered, I put the, the Edge revolver uh, in my cart, and uh, upon ordering it, because I, I selected the next day air, and uh, the owner, I think he's the owner, but he's a guy, anyway, that's there, Clay, super nice guy. He called me, and he was like, hey, man, completely up to you, but there's only about a $15, $20 difference between the Edge revolver and the Hydra, and you get a lot more bang for your buck with this one, because it can hold up to 17 tunes, and you can... Uh, basically swap out tunes whenever you want versus with the edge revolver which i initially wanted to get it's that's it like they come preloaded and you can't do anything about it i also got turbo pedestal o-ring and then the thing i'm most excited about which is actually why this whole project started was these babies right here okay so i just got the package open check out these babies this is the thing I am most excited for. So probably I will put it in the title, but basically uh, I did a boost leak test because I had a lot of loss of power on my 7.3. And I maintained that truck really well, so I knew it wasn't something like, like something from my fault. And uh, basically upon doing the boost leak test, I, I saw that I sprayed some soapy water and I saw that the intake plenums were leaking on the driver's side, basically from this side, spraying it towards like the, the CCV area, if you know what I'm talking about. And then last but not least, I also got high flow fuel, the check valve delete. And also what's really cool is check this out, scan for install. Another thing I'm really excited about is this. Fuel rail crossover. Also, I heard it helps improve throttle response, which hopefully in conjunction with this should definitely wake the truck up a little bit. Hey guys, so I hope you can see uh, the lighting might not be the best, but I just finished up for today. I've got some homework to do, so no more time today. But here are the new intake plenums installed. There's a little bit of oil on top right there because my cross my uh, high pressure oil cross I forgot what it's called but this thing right here also from Riff Raff I have it disconnected right now so a little bit of oil is seeping so that's normal I also installed the the fuel rail the fuel uh, crossover thing FRX from Riff Raff and I didn't know what spring to go to because it comes with three springs, but I went with the middle one. But anyways, I want stock injectors. They are brand new, but they're still stock, so it's not like I need crazy pressure. The next mod I have is the uh, these ones, the uh, high flow CVD fittings. Anyways, I got the O-rings. I have to replace on the pedestal. And then pretty much it's just a matter of reassembling everything. So I'm really, really hoping that this will take care of my boost leak. Okay guys, day uh, seven million working on the truck. Check it out. I cracked the screen because this got stuck inside my socket and I had to push it out with the screwdriver. But I got the back end uh, check valve off. And I'm going to be replacing it with this. So there's going to be way less restriction. Well, guys, it's about 7 p.m., maybe 7.15. I took off my watch because I don't want to mess it up. Uh, and I got the turbo in pretty much. I just have to clock it a little bit clockwise. So like this. Here is my intercooler piping. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to hopefully finish installing the turbo and then 
it's just a matter of putting everything back on. What's up, guys? We are uh, currently setting up the tins for Anthony's here uh, hydro chip for a 7.3. Yup, yup. And uh, so we are referring to um, Go Power Hungry's website where it has all these calibrations, a lot of stuff we don't need, like teen driver, valley mode. <laughs> I don't need that. So we have like the extreme tune, the racing tune, performance, and Anthony here toes a lot. So we got toe tunes here. So yeah, we realize there's kind of too many slots. Yeah, too like, many slots. Yeah, yeah too, too many, many options. options. But let's let's see what happens. Danger to manifold. <laughs> okay, so I just finished up uh, doing the PCM. And you can see I put the USB cable here on the side just in case if I ever need diagnostics. And I actually put layers of tape between the PCM already, like to cover the hole. And then I put an additional layer just to make sure they don't bounce around. But here's what's holding like the cradle. This guy helped. Okay guys, everything is pretty much done. I kind of just got frustrated putting the turbo in. So I kind of didn't film a lot of it, but you guys probably already know how to do this if you're watching this video. And also in the process, I accidentally lost a uh, a, a, a nut for this clamp. So I have to get a new nut, but that's no biggie. So now the next step is I just have to install the chip, the hydro chip in the PCM. Okay guys, it's the next day and I got it started. Uh, last night I made the mistake of forgetting to close off my fuel bowl like the little valve and I started it and it was a bunch of uh, diesel all over the ground. Okay guys you hear that? The truck is back together and working. Currently I'm on the whisper mode on the Hydra because man I love the way this thing sounds. Just sounds like a semi truck with really low, nice low RPM idle. I'll put it up to normal idle just so you can hear that it sounds great. I can just do this. And uh, look how good it sounds. The little smoke you see here, that's because I was planning to do a CCV delete and I took off that little cover, but I didn't have time to pick up all the hoses and stuff, so I just put it back. And I think I put the gasket on a little wrong, so I'm not worried at all about that. That's just a tiny bit of oil vapor. But the truck runs awesome. No blow by whatsoever. I did paint the turbo as well as the back of the turbo. So yeah, the whole turbo. I think I mentioned that. I do have the cold air intake by SMB. I probably need to get a new filter, but so far it's fine. Uh, so I do have the High pressure oil, the HPX kit from Ridraft. And now I just added the uh, fuel rail crossover kit. Also from Riffraff. I hope you guys can hear me. So this, uh, this engine, I'm not joking, it's idling better than ever before. I've never heard it idle this smooth and this good. I let it idle for maybe 30 minutes this morning. I took it on a test drive with a new Hydra chip and I went through pretty much all the modes. I was a little hesitant to try the 140 and I tried it very briefly, maybe like a minute. But man, 
that chip really wakes up this truck quite a bit. I think I'm probably just gonna stay in the fuel sipper mode. I'll show you guys my modes. Uh, the fuel sipper, which is the 65 horsepower, so it still adds 65 horsepower, but it shifts a lot sooner, as in like keeps your RPMs low. I hope you guys liked the video. I'll show you what it sounds like with the hood closed. I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, if you want to see more 7.3 stuff, just go ahead and let me know. Thanks for watching.